Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. My name is Brian Zakowski and we are exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5. Uh, today we're talking about one of the preferences uh, called Use Precise Cursors. So if you don't have a document open, go ahead and open a new document from the file menu and it doesn't have to do anything particular. The default setting, whatever that comes up as, is fine. So go, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I have a document open that I am already going to use here. So um, if you're uh, using Mac, you're going to find your preferences uh, under the Illustrator menu right there. And if you're in Windows, you're going to find that uh, under the Edit menu somewhere in there. So go ahead and choose Preferences General. Um, which would be Command-K on the Mac or Control-K on Windows, I believe. And you'll see in your Preferences dialog box that you have an option here called Use Precise Cursors. That uh, only really means that if you have that selected, you're going to see these little, little precise crosshairs as opposed to, if I go back to preferences and turn it off you're going to see um, a little icon that represents that particular tool that selected at the time so your selection tool and your direct selection tool are going to remain the same uh, but most of the other tools in your tool uh, toolbar here are going to have an icon uh, some of the things won't change uh, like like the uh, rectangle, uh, things of that nature, but some things uh, will change actually pretty dramatically. So, uh, for instance, like the pen here, we will talk about the pen. The pen looks like a little old-fashioned stylus, the kind of pen that you used to dip into the little ink ink bottles back in the day. Don't ask me, I don't know how long ago that was, but probably a pretty long time ago, probably the early 1900s or so. Alright, it's not a history lesson, it's a tutorial on Adobe Illustrator CS5. So let's go back over to Preferences and choose in General once again and turn on per Use Precise Cursors. You'll see that the selection tool remains the same, the direct selection tool remains the same, your magic wand is no longer a magic wand icon, but now it's a little crosshair. Uh, that's going to be the same for your, your I don't know if you can see that. Put it right over that. Right over the Cartoon Smart logo. That is now a little crosshair as well. It's a little X. And let's go to something such as uh, paintbrush. There's a little X. Now the blob brush right here. This is going to be a little different. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a little circle around that. And if you can see that. Bring that. Actually, when I go ahead and create something like a rectangle and fill that with white. Okay, now we can see the cursor a little bit better. If I went over to the blob brush, you'll see it has circle and that is relative to the size of the stroke so to speak that that tool would make so if on your keyboard you go right next to the P on your keyboard go and press the either the right bracket or the left bracket just to the right of the P on, on your keyboard and you'll notice if you keep pressing the bracket to the right that gets bigger and if you continuously press the one on the left it's going to get smaller so you get the idea of that's what is meant by use a precise cursor and you can experiment with the rest on your own if you even need to see that I just wanted to let you know that that was there and some people do have a uh, preference of using the exact size that that brush is going to make. Me, I I tend to just experiment undo a lot. So uh, one thing worth mentioning here. Let's go back to preferences. Go back to general and turn use precise cursors off. 
hit OK. If I was to hit the, you'll notice that the icon is now, um, for the blob brush, it is the, the icon of the tool itself. If I, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. If I, um, let's see, shift, okay, I pressed caps lock. Now caps lock is going to change that to the precise cursor. If I hit caps lock again, it's going to go back to uh, the way it was. Now, okay, the blob brush tool either way is going to um, show the show the brush size. The only thing it changes is the whether or not you're it's showing a cursor in the middle of that circle or the um, brush icon. So, okay, with that being said, I think this wraps up this little short video on the using a precise cursor in Adobe Illustrator CS5 for Cartoon Smart. I'm Brian Zykowski. Thanks for watching.